So good preparation is going to involve having a plan. A map, compass, and GPS would be helpful. An emergency plan if things don't work out, because sometimes they don't. And then, of course, what to take with you on your hike. So we're going to look inside my bag right now. The first thing I want you to notice, this is a day pack. So this goes around your waist and not over your shoulders. Inside your day pack, make sure you have plenty of water. Staying hydrated is very important. It is. Let's see what else we have in here. Here's that map I told you about. This map is what you would call a small scale map. So you, you have a very tight area. In other words, you can identify right where you are with your phone with this particular type of map. So you can hold the map. And a GPS can be found on your phone. So any phone you can download a free app. And I use GPS status. I don't get paid for this. So this will tell you exactly where you are. And you can take these two coordinates and find out exactly where you are on a map. There's no reason why you shouldn't know exactly where you are. So a couple of questions here. Sure. While the map is very important, I agree, and the GPS is very important, mm -hmm. I also agree. We just happen to have a map of Mount Whitney, which is not where we are currently located. So make sure that your map is of the correct location and trail that you are on. Well, that, that's an important, uh, important part of the plan is to make sure you got the right information. And we're only about three or 400 miles from that particular area. So I'm, I got the wrong map. Oops. Bad planning. Bad planning. Yeah. And secondly, GPS. Yeah. We are in the back country and sometimes we don't have phone service. So what do you propose we do in those circumstances? I suppose you don't take your phone. <laughs> because if it doesn't work, it's not going to help you. I think the uh, alternative to that is I wear a little wrist GPS and all it does is give me the coordinates. That's all I need to know is where, the, where I am on the map. Let's see what else we have in here. Mm -hmm. So this is an example of uh, a little cover it all case that is a camera case and inside that camera case you have all the things that you would want if you were stranded. You have a roll of cordage, you can make laces, you can make all sorts of things with that. Uh, this here is a flashlight, a solar blanket. This will keep you warm in very cold weather. This here is a wax sawdust starter log and these are the things you would normally start your wood fire in a fireplace with. It's good to have one of these on hand because they light very easily. And finally we have windproof matches, hurricane match. So these will fire up during any condition. Wet, windy, good to have on hand. And additionally we have some things that you may need for Uh, little wipes for your nose. Oh, Kleenex mm -hmm. always comes in yeah. handy. A bandana is an essential. You can do a lot of things with a bandana. Like? Blow your nose. And Hi, then, you could if you fracture. A tourniquet. Yes. Yeah. And then medicated lip balm. So there, this is a, a staple. You have to have this. Any cuts, scrapes, just wipe this on there and that'll start the healing process and keep it from becoming infected in most cases. So that's what I've got in my little bag.